Hi, my name is Jake Bossenkemper, Director of Agronomy and Research here at Liquor Grow. Hi, I'm Chris Tinsman. I'm the Director of Innovation here at Twin State Liquor Grow. And today we're going to be talking about exact strips. You've just finished a long three-year study. And just to remind everyone, exact strips is our new application process that we released about two years ago, where we can take your, the customer's guidance lines, and plug them onto our floaters. And using our liquid P and K, we can apply exactly where that plant is going to be growing and where you're going to be planting that seed. Therefore, you know, we can have on average uh, either two and a half inches or less away from where that seed bed is going to be. And Jake, why is that important? Yeah, Chris, so let's back up a second. So why, would, why did we even dream up this exact strip thing? You know, why did we even want to do this, right? And it's because... You know, as I've got in the get gotten out in the field more and talking to more customers, everybody likes the idea of banding. Uh, many people, you know, definitely believe that there's a yield increase associated with banding nutrients, and there absolutely is. I can tell you that because I've looked at this in multiple studies over multiple years. And the first couple studies that you saw were actually strip tillage studies. Yes, that, that, that's correct, Chris. So most of the work that's been done by universities ha has has revolved around strip tillage, injecting nutrients into the ground. Okay. I mean, I am a huge fan of strip tillage, by the way. I like that tillage system, yeah. but it's slow, and it's, and it's expensive, and it takes a lot of time. That's yeah. one of the issues. Manpower, right? equipment costs, there's a lot of factors in there, too. Yeah, and it's just not for everybody, yeah. right? And so, as I've talked to growers, folks want to plant close to a band of fertilizer because they believe there's a yield increase, and there is, particularly when the P and K and the sulfur and the zinc are all applied together. But it takes a lot of time and it's expensive. Yeah. So the reason we came up with Exact Strip is, you know, how important is actually injecting the nutrients to the yield increase? That's right. the question we wanted to answer, right? So I went off on a whole diatribe of different studies I've done to try to answer this question. And I'll briefly mention one, um, and it's the biggest study. So I've been doing it for three years. There's a total of 10 locations. And what we wanted to do is we wanted to apply a band of fertilizer at different distances from the future row. And what we found is that, this was all in no tillage, okay? What we found is that applying the fertilizer in the fall or the spring at the zero distance, so in other words, where the crop is gonna be planted, increased yields in that study, seven and a half to eight bushel over broadcast. So what that tells us is that you don't actually have to inject the nutrients to get this yield increase from banding. Yeah. And that's important because that means we can cover a lot of acres efficiently, and rapidly. Yeah, I mean, seven and a half bushel is quite a bit. You know, what's the likelihood that you're going to be seeing that yield increase? Chris, certainly it'll depend on the location, but you know, on average over those 10 sites, yeah, there was a 99.999% probability that it was real. <laughs> so that's pretty high. <laughs> that's pretty high. <laughs> that said, there was variation from site to site. At yeah. one location, there were 25, there was a 25 bushel yield increase to applying nutrients at the zero distance. At other locations, there were very small yield increases. And that just has to do with the environments, the P and K levels, so on and so forth. But on average over those, over those studies, there was absolute yield increase and it was absolutely real. So Jake, as we wrap up some of the research stuff, we've already done 20,000 acres of this application. Uh, we've seen a lot of farmers make that transition from WAS or other GPS guidance systems over to the RTK so that they can have their sub-inch accuracy. Jake, what's the next step? If, if a farmer already has that RTK, where should they be trying this out on? Yeah, Chris, I think that uh, the exact strip fits lots of acres. However, if I'm, uh, you know, going to say there's a best fit, it's going to be on, you know, you got to think about the cash rent situation. In the state of Iowa, last time I looked at the statistics, about 65, 60 to 65% of the ground was cash rented, right? And a lot of the time, you don't even know what those P&K levels are on that rented ground. And a lot of times you don't know, and oftentimes they're lower than you'd like. Right. Okay, so that's where you have to think about the power of banding nutrients. You're going to artificially inflate because you have two options. Option one, you can broadcast P and K and you can try to build up soil test levels, right? But that takes time and it takes Years. many, many dollars of nutrients to do that. Yeah. The other option is you can positionally place a band of nutrients and artificially inflate the nutrient concentration in the root zone where the immobile nutrients are taken up. And that's phosphorus, potassium, zinc, those are all immobile nutrients, okay? 
We know from research that about 80% of the immobile nutrients are taken up in about a six by six inch box around the plant, okay? Yeah. So you can artificially inflate the nutrient concentrations in the root zone where the crop's gonna take up the P and K without having to build and spend lots of money on fertility. And it comes back to feeding the plant, not and necessarily not the feeding soil, the soil. Particularly on these cash red acres. Yeah. If you own the ground and you wanna build P and K, there's, there's rationale and justification for that, okay? However, if you don't own the ground and it doesn't make sense to build P and K, this is a prime time system. Jake, you've been talking a lot about keeping these nutrients all in a concise band. You know, what's your recommendation with how much tillage equipment and different types of tillage equipment's out there? What do you recommend with putting that before or after the tillage? Chris, you're just like every one of our sales professionals. Like, <laughs> oh, what about tillage? What do we do with tillage? You know, tillage is a whole quagmire. That's a whole other question, right? So. I am going to be looking into those questions. How, do, how does exact strip fit into different tillage systems? Particularly asking the question, should you apply the exact strip band before or after tillage with different tillage systems? But for now, what I can tell you is that when I've done this in no-till, so no tillage, of course, we see that seven and a half day bushel yield increase. When I apply these nutrient bands on top of a strip till berm, after the, the strip till machines went through, we see that seven and a half to eight bushel yield increase, okay? So what we know for sure is that if the exact strips are applied after tillage, we see the yield increase. May you see that yield increase after a vertical tillage pass? You may, but for the time being, I think we need to do the exact strips after tillage until I have more time to look at how the exact strips will interact with different tillage systems. Yeah, there might be a lot of movement there in the tillage yeah, equipment. Yeah, particularly you with, might be with chiseling or disking, there's gonna be quite a bit of movement. I think the real question is, could you do your vertical tillage pass yeah. where there's less movement after the exact strip is applied? So those are gonna be questions we answer in the future. I mean, Jake, I know that, you know, sitting in the cab of the tractor and you're out there applying your liquid P and K and you're seeing it place, you're seeing the floater place that fertilizer right there on top of the berm. It makes a really nice, beautiful it picture it does. and video. Yes, it so. does, yes, it does. Chris, I think the real, you know, we've talked a lot about exact strips today and all the details, but I think the real magic is that Traditionally speaking, you have to you know, inject fertilizer to get this seven and a half day bushel yield increase. Inject fertilizer in the ground, which takes lots of time, lots of manpower, lots of jacking around with filling, okay? So the magic is you don't have to have any of that stuff here, right? We come out, we apply these fertilizer bands, and there isn't a lot of investment. There isn't a lot of extra labor costs. It's simple, okay? So you know, I think that's the power in exact strips. Jake, I mean, I'm extremely confident in the fact that our team can provide that service, that our machines can run that accurately across that ground. If Exact Strip fits your operation, feel free to contact your local liquor grow salesman. We'd love to come out and talk to you more about the subject. Thanks. Lead Academy. Liquor Grow. Excellence. In agronomy. Development. <laughs>